friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. I'm out here with Hans. You would have seen Hans before, and down there is our buddy Rob. We're catching up with Rob for a few days, actually like four days. We're down here about four days. We've got ourselves based down here in a house, and we're gonna just poke around some of these rivers that are still open till the end of the month. See if we can find some kind of wintry fish, wintry South Island fish. Um, let me bring you up to speed. Hans and I went into a river yesterday, well the day before yesterday, for a two-day, one-night trip. Uh, for a specific mission, which was to try and find some big fish. And we managed to do that. Unfortunately, you're not going to see a video of that trip because I'm not allowed to film in there. But I can show you a couple of pictures. epic fish and as usual the pictures don't do the fish justice that one i got was a big big fish uh we weighed it for a change and it was bang on 14 pounds so that was a mega mega fish so super happy with that yeah we've driven further south and we are now going to poke around here a couple of different rivers a few different days see what we can find hopefully there's some fish moving into the tributaries with the whole you know cold weather rain time of year thing and uh we can find a couple i've just set up but i'll run you through what i'm using a bit later in the video for now we're just going to kind of start fishing our way up and see if we can find a couple of fish to get going with let's go and i was actually just about to turn the camera on then Show and go, brother. Nice work. I came through shallowed up this was all a bit deeper when I came through in March I got a dirty egg on man North Island styles got a fish there no yeah it is a fish there's a fish right there I don't think I'm getting down Add a bit of split shot to that. Oh no, he's still. He moved away. I think I can still see him. Oh, maybe, maybe I can't. Yeah. Got him. Another brownie. Pretty. Dirty eggs. Pretty fish. Thanks, brother. Right there. Awesome, mate. Cheers, bro. Love dirty this stuff. Yeah, dirty, dirty North Island styles, eh? That's good. She won't go anywhere. Oh, that's pretty, man. That's super nice. Look at those. How pretty is that? Yeah, man. How can you be unhappy with that? Come on, then, lady. As you go. Yo, okay, sweet, so that took a dirty egg. I don't know if you can see, see that dirty orange egg? Just North Island styles. Got a um, 101 from Cat3 here. Uh, a little split shot in the middle here, just to keep that egg down, and then the egg. Um, that's it, real simple. Um, 
and then actually saw that fish at the tail and he kind of moved out and then I just fished the water and found him. Real pretty, a great spot, it's great marking. It's a good start, it's a good start. Two pieces of water, three each, two fish. Hopefully it continues. Happily catch fish like that all day, eh? Yeah, okay, so I thought I'd just tell you what I'm using today. So I've got the five, it's quite a small river, eh? Even with the extra water in it, it's a pretty small river. So I've gone for the Helios 3 5 weight F from Orvis. Then on here I've got the Mirage LT size 2 reel in the burnt orange. You know, the, if you watch these videos, you know how much I like this reel, it's so good. And then on there I've got the Scientific Angler's Amplitude Infinity Smooth Camo Line in a 5 weight. And I've actually still got the poly leader on here, so I've got a loop-to-loop -loop connection. Let me show you. Here, look, this is a loop-to-loop -loop connection to a floating poly leader, seven-foot floating poly leader from Orvis. Uh, even though it's kind of wintry, nymphy kind of thing, this is not a deep river, so I can get away with the, uh, just leaving the poly leader on there. Uh, more lazy than anything. Anyway, I've got that down to a tippet ring, and off of there I've got about six or seven feet of 3X to about two feet of 4X down to, like I showed you earlier, uh, or just now, I showed you the uh, size 10 101 from Cat 3, um, to about 12 inches of 4X off of the bend of that, like so. Got a split shot halfway to get that egg down because that egg's a little bit floaty. And that's just like a clear drift style egg. And uh, that is what, where's that split? Oh, there it is. So yeah, got the fly, the split shot and the egg. And that just keeps it down on the bottom where the fish are going to be this time of year, you know. Uh, and that's about it, it's a pretty simple. Oh yeah, and obviously I've got an indicator on there, which is adjustable, I can move that up and down, depending on the uh, the water that I'm fishing. All right, the boys are ready to go. I'll go catch them up and we'll uh, try to get a couple more fish up. Can actually see a fish from here. Oh, my eye won't stop watering today. Oh, double hookup! Nice fish, too. I think I got him. Oh man, that's a pretty fish. Hey, 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 hey. Beautiful fish. Look at her. Just a beautiful. Look at her. Nothing wrong with her. Alright, lady, out you go. Brownies. Oh, that's a nice fish too, dude. Let's have a look. Oh, wicked. Double trouble. Nice work, chap. Nicely done. <laughs> Yo, okay, sorry about this angle, but um, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I, and I came down here for this trip um, due to a, one thing and another, my head's just been not in the game in the last couple of weeks. So I came all the way down here and I was on the plane and I suddenly realized I didn't bring my tripod with me, which is ridiculous because this is such an important part of my kit. So I had to go and buy uh, a, well, I want to say cheap one. It wasn't cheap, but I had to buy a temporary tripod for this trip. And it's like one of those Gorilla Pod type things. So I can't actually, you know, it's only about this tall. Hence the funny angles. Anyway, I'm rambling. What I'm going on about is I'm actually breaking down my nymph rod. I caught a couple of fish on the egg, and that's that's great, that's cool. But I want it to I want to fish the streamer. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this away and I'm gonna put the streamer rod together and fish that for the rest of the day. I'm gonna put it on my five weight, which is a little heavy for it, but I reckon it'll work just fine. We'll make it work, you know. Because it's what we do. Uh, so again, the Mirage LT size 2 reel. Same as the orange one. Yeah, Hunter's in again. Boy is just crushing it. Uh, and then on here I've got the Scientific Angler's uh, Trout Express line. 
I think this is for a six weight, so it's a little overloady, overloady, that's not a word or a term, but I'm overloading the five weight. Um, oh, here we go. It's a 210 grain, yeah, so actually probably will be okay for this. I'm gonna make it okay for this. And then on there, I've just got some 16 pound fluorocarbon loop to loop connection. I'll show you that right now, actually, hang on. So yeah, on the end of that, I've got a loop to loop connection. That's just, oh, that's quite messed up from fishing the last couple of days. So yesterday when we fished our way out of the river we were in, uh, the one that we couldn't film in, we just put streamers on and just fished our way out and it was actually really good fun. We caught maybe six or seven fish between us. It was all good stuff. Nice work, Hansy. Boy can fish, man. He's just, he's just a weapon. Um, yeah, so I've just got some 16 pound fluorocarbon, the absolute supreme stuff from Scientific Anglers as usual. And in there, I'm just gonna put in a perfection loop really quick. And if you don't know how to tie a perfection loop, I will uh, link a video up here and you can see how I tie a perfection loop. But really, wh whatever loop you have confidence in. Uh, and then I'll put the tag ends in my hip pack. I'll go about, I don't know, what, that long? Three, three or four feet, be plenty. And then all I'm gonna do is get the loop, the welded loop of my fly line right there. And then I'm just gonna pass the perfection loop over the top of that, the line through the loop. And pull it tight, job done. And I just so happened to have the game changer here that I was using yesterday, all ready to go. Tied for me by my buddy, Kieran. Looks great in the water and it's caught me some fish already on this trip, so no reason not to bang it back on. I'm gonna use a lefties loop to attach that to my, not fly line, to my line. Again, that video I linked just now, that'll have a lefties loop tutorial in it too, from memory. Boom, boom. Taggins in the hip pack. Barbs are already crushed on this. And let's see if we can get some fish to eat that. Pretty confident I can. A cloud's coming in, the temperature's dropping. Let's go. I got a fish there. Pretty sure that's a fish. Yes! Sight fish streamer! Hey? Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Come here, you little guy. Come here. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Stop, stop, stop. There we go. Work it. <laughs> there we go. What a beautiful little fish. What a cool way to catch him. Go on, out of here. Oh, that was uber cool. I actually saw that fish just on the inside, but as I started to fish, I just put that across and ripped it in front of his face and she, he just smashed it. That was cool. Perfect fish. Nothing wrong with him. Oh, and another one, yes! Oh, man, that was cool. So cool. Just little fish, but just uber aggressive in this water. The only reason I'm doing this is because I don't have a net on me. I don't like this, but it can be done well. Oh, look how pretty you are. There we go, mate, look at you. You are just uber pretty. Get out of here, you.
Uh, so I've actually spotted a fish downstream of me. I'm just not quite sure where it is or if I can get a fly to it. Hey! Got him! I saw this guy as well. That worked out really well. Oh, what you doing in there, buddy? Come on in. Just gonna see if I can just swing her right in here, nice and gently. Hey, 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 stop now. There we go. Wow. Hey, stop, stop. There we go. Beautiful, look how fat she is. Wow, just full of eggs. I would say, just beautiful. Oh my word, poor little fatty. Go on, go make some babies. Go on. Oh. Go on, go on, go on. Ready when you are, buddy. Nice fish, dude. Yeah, get him back. Getting in there. Good job, buddy. Nice one, bro. That's a good fish. Yeah, that looked nice, man. Well done. You're a winner. <laughs> Still got dates available, boy. Hans crew are guiding. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need your dates, buddy. Keep your goddamn dates, man. Yeah. Hey, uh, Hans, I, uh, I still have some dates available, <laughs> you know, till the end of the month. Hey, we can swap dates. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, boy, my day is done. <laughs> Brilliant, man. Cheers for the net job. Chunky. Nice. Oh, just hooked, too. Just hooked. So nice with all those barbs, mate. Yeah, isn't it? So much better. Is it all flossed up as well? There we go. Brilliant stuff.
Got him. Nice. Eh -eh. All right. Just gonna go pretty much regroup with the lads. And then uh, we're gonna turn around and get out of here. It's been a great day. Nice cruisy day. We've caught plenty of fish. Uh, and more than you'll have seen on this video because we've kind of been split up and kind of doing our own thing and fishing around. Catching fish here and there, it's been great. A nice change from tough fishing. Gentlemen's hours. Not a particularly early start. Definitely not a late finish. And uh, good times. Uh, caught some fish this morning you know nymphing and then switch over to the streamer and i do like catching fish on the streamer it's good so make sure you tune in next week to see what we get up to hopefully we catch some more fish and have a good time doing it i'm pretty sure we will hope you enjoyed this one guys give me a thumbs up drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff have yourselves a great weekend i'll see you on the next one peace